you know, everybody is guilty of checking themselves out in the mirror from time to time. But now, staring at your reflection does not necessarily have to be a display of vanity. In fact, doctors actually encourage you to take a closer look in the mirror to get some very simple clues about the state of your health. Assistant Professor of Sur uh, Surgery at Georgetown University Hospital, Dr. Robin Chetkin, joins us now to uh, enlighten us about some of these simple little trips that we can, uh, we can take. This is fascinating because your body's always out there telling you something about your health, right? That's absolutely right. We just have to listen. So in fact, when you wake up in the morning, taking a really good long look at yourself in the mirror is almost as good as having your personal physician right there next to you. Well, let's, let's start with, with fingernails <laughs> because underneath your nails can reveal a lot about your health. Absolutely. What should you look for and what are some signs of, of things that may not be right? So we're mostly looking at our nails to check out our manicure, at least woman, <laughs> yeah. but actually looking, look, finding dark stripes, black stripes under your nails or dark yellow pigmented areas can be a sign of melanoma, of skin cancer. Really? It can occur underneath the nails, not just in sun exposed areas. Now would they be uh, vertical stripes or horizontal stripes? They're typically or? vertical stripes under the nail. Interesting. Wow. Uh, same color as a, as a melanoma would be on the skin. Absolutely. And you can so see it through the translucent uh, color of your, of your nails. Absolutely. And so it's typically dark, but again, it can be sort of a variation of yellow or mm. orange. Other things that we can look for in our fingernails? Iron deficiency anemia can also be something that we see in the fingernails. So the commonest cause of iron deficiency anemia worldwide is actually parasitic infestation. It's hookworm. In the U.S., that's not quite as common. Yeah. So in women, it's usually from heavy bleeding during their period or sometimes in strict vegetarians who aren't getting enough iron. And we can see brittle nails and what we call spoon-shaped nails, too. That's a sign of low iron. Another area of the body that you should check, the armpit. Yes. I'm curious about this. Believe it or not. So not just for body odor, but actually diabetes can be manifest in the armpit. Diabetes, because of the high levels of circulating insulin in the bloodstream, can cause darkening and thickening of the skin in the armpits, also in the groin and in the neck area. And as you know, many Americans have diabetes and are undiagnosed, so that's an important yeah. clue. So, so it would just be a discoloration of the skin? Yes. Tre trending towards a darker? Exactly. Darkening and thickening of the skin. And thickening. In the so it would have a consistency that doesn't feel right? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, interesting. And, and uh, how long does it take for something like that to manifest itself once you, you have diabetes? Is it something you would notice overnight, over the course of, of several months? This is a later sign. Some of the earlier signs of diabetes would be something like frequent urination, feeling thirsty all mm -hmm. the time. So the skin changes tend to be later. But one of the skin changes or, or body changes that can manifest early is changes in the eyes. So for example, the eyes being jaundiced, being yellow, can be a sign that the liver is inflamed. And a common reason for that is heavy drinking on the weekend. Interesting. Partying a little too much, binge drinking on the weekend can cause acute inflammation of the liver. The eyes become jaundiced and that can clear up in a few days or it can continue on to chronic liver disease. So those folks out there who wake up after a, a big party, they're really hungover, over and they say, man, I just look terrible. And you see that kind of yellowish color. Absolutely. That, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a real warning that's sign. That's a huh? real problem. That means they've done some serious damage to their liver. Wow. Okay. All right. The scalp. Let's talk about what, uh, what things can manifest yes. themselves in the scalp. So one of the commonest things with the scalp is your hair. And thyroid disease can cause hair thinning. So thyroid disease affects almost 1 in 10 women in the United States. And thinning of the hair is a common manifestation of a thyroid gland that's out of whack. And this is just in, in the case of women because obviously thinning of the hair is very typical in men. Yes, but abnormal thinning of the hair in men, so not a typical male pattern baldness, mm -hmm. but abnormal thinning on top of that in men can also be a sign of thyroid disease too. Checking your belly. Yes. What can you detect in your belly? Well, in addition to seeing whether you've been having too many brownies on the weekend, hair growth on the belly. So again, more typical in women. Mm -hmm. In women, typically, there's not a lot of hair between the belly button and the pubic area, mm -hmm. but having a lot of hair, particularly sort of coarse, thick, dark hair on the abdomen, can be a sign of something called polycystic ovary syndrome, it's sometimes called Stein-Leventhal syndrome. And in that condition, there's too much androgen in the system. And so in addition to a lot of hair growth on the belly, there's also often acne, hair and other places in the face, a sort of male pattern of hair growth on the chin and so on. It can be associated with infertility and even heart disease. And again, that's one that affects about 
about 10% of women in this country, mm -hmm. so a common one. 10%, it's very, very, very common. Yes. Uh, interesting. All right, and some other uh, things that we need to look at for, just generally speaking, of when you're, when you're taking that glance in the mirror in Our the morning. tongue, being a gastroenterologist, I see a lot of acid reflux, so a thick coated tongue, or even better, if you're turning around to plant one on your significant other and he or she is avoiding you, bad breath, that can be a sign of acid reflux because of all the acid coming up mm -hmm. into the airway, coating the tongue, and leaving you with bad breath. And it, doesn't it also provide some uh, discoloration of the tongue as well? Yes, the tongue can be coated. It's usually a sort of whitish coating on the tongue. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Uh, any, anything else we need to look at for? I got my list. <laughs> well, take a good look in the mirror, but you should still go and see your doctor. But, you know, generally taking a look, and if something just doesn't look right, again, your complexion is sallow, the eyes are jaundiced, the hair looks thinner than normal, and particularly things that develop over a relatively short period of time. If you've mm -hmm. always been bald and your hair is thin, sure. but if all of a sudden you notice that there's a lot of hair coming out and you're really seeing your scalp, that's a problem. Yeah. This is interesting because so many people tend to be very vain and are looking at themselves in the mirror all the time, or those of us who work in television have to do it. <laughs> but uh, a lot of people, other people just don't. They just ignore their bodies, they ignore that reflection, and ignore any kind of self-examination. So this is a, a key, key, key to finding Absolutely. out what your health is. Doctor, thank you very much for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.